Wouldn't you like to have your very own stadium without having to pay the $150 million or so that it costs? Well, sorry, you're probably not rich enough to get a gift like that. It's reserved for the multi-millionaires who own athletic teams. You poor people, however, you do get the right to pay for it. The stadium will pay for itself, we're told. But it's not true. According to study after study done by independent economists, those not working for mayors or teams, all these studies found that stadiums cost cities far more than they return. Politicians say this will create thousands of jobs. It's, it's impossible. To think Economist Mark think Rosentraub, is... author of the book Major League Losers, says taxpayers are being fooled. Cleveland's taxpayers were persuaded to demolish Cleveland's old stadiums and build new ones. The mayor bragged that his new $170 million baseball stadium would create lots of jobs. And so far it's provided almost 2,000. But think about that. It's in excess of $170,000 for every job. You actually could have done better by just saying to the people who would have been hired, here's $50,000 and try to start a business. And this idea that a stadium will revitalize a neighborhood is a myth. Look at the scene outside Yankee Stadium. All these stores depend on stadiums for their survival. Yeah, but take a look at this. Uh, the stores are closed today. They're only going to be open 81 days a year when the Yankees play. If we're right now, this in the fact is it becomes a dead zone when the Yankees aren't here. And the newest stadiums often make it worse for neighborhood businesses, because team owners build their own stores inside the stadium. Then they keep the money. You're taking money from lower income people and moderate income people through their taxes and transferring it to really the most economically privileged people in our society. Politicians don't want to miss a chance to preside over a victory parade. What about civic pride? I mean, I'm proud that I live in New York where the Yankees, my team, won the World Series. Then be honest and say, look, we're going to spend $700 million so you feel better about yourself. If you think it's worth it, then do it. If you asked me, would I spend $700 million to feel better, my answer is going to be no. Why must cities subsidize professional sports? Why doesn't George Steinbrenner use his own money to build a stadium? He wouldn't talk to us about it. In fact, most wealthy owners we called would not. But Jerry Reinsdorf, the owner of the Chicago Bulls and White Sox, did. If we had to pay for the stadium, we could not have been able to stay in Chicago. It's a very marginal operation. You could have raised the money privately. No, I couldn't have. Because you have People? to... You have to pay it back. You couldn't have paid it back? You couldn't have made enough money here? No. I could not have made enough money. I didn't realize that this was going to be a debate, or I probably wouldn't have agreed to the interview. Oh, but, 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 but anyway, if you, if you want it to be a debate, we can continue doing it well, that way. Let's have a debate. You're a freeloader. You're taking money from poor taxpayers to make you, a rich guy, richer. Well, as far as getting rich, I can tell you there's not a single owner of a sports franchise who, when he bought, sat down to buy a team, said, this is a very good way to deploy my capital. The people that, that own sports franchises don't do it to get richer. They could get richer someplace else. That's fine. Then do it with your money. Don't take the public's money. You mean if somebody walks up to you and, and, and hands you money, you shouldn't take it? The fact is that, that I was offered this stadium by elected officials. He was, though the vote was close. Now I'll be voting no on that legislation. No more new stadiums. It passed after Governor Thompson, that's him here, leaned on some legislators. A few years later, the park was built, and there was the governor throwing out the first ball. I should point out that Reinsdorf and former Governor Thompson are friends from law school. Absolutely, he's my friend. Absolutely, he's my friend. Hey, I need millions of dollars. I'll go to my law school buddy, the governor, and get a handout. But I didn't give it to the wife. I didn't give it to Reinsdorf. I gave it to the people of Illinois. The, the stadium is owned by the people of Illinois. It's not owned by Reinsdorf. No, Reinsdorf doesn't own it, but he sure got a great deal in a rental. In fact, unless more than a million tickets are sold, he pays no rent. Yet Reinsdorf and his partners get to keep all the profits made from the new skyboxes, restaurants, and shops. He's a tenant. Pure and simple. What kind of rent does he pay? Rent's based on, uh, largely on team attendance. How much does he pay? So, I don't recall the mechanics. They pay rent when the attendance reaches a certain level. How, how often does that happen? Well, I don't know. It depends on whether the team's winning or not, doesn't it? So far, you haven't made out real well. Right. But we didn't build it to make money. Good thing, since the state's been paying much more in maintenance than the taxpayers ever collected in rent. You're taking tax money and giving it to your rich friend. Oh, yeah, but it was, it was your tax money. It wasn't our tax money.
I mean, the whole uh, baseball field is uh, built on the uh, hotel motel tax. Chicagoans don't pay hotel motel tax. Guys from New York like you pay hotel motel taxes. What a great deal. Most of the stadium money will be repaid by federal taxpayers and Chicago hotel taxes. But again, it's not free money. It could have been used for roads or schools or to support other businesses. I'm sure there's a shoe store in Chicago Avenue which would like a free loan, too. You didn't give it to them. I can't make an economic argument for loaning money to one shoe store out of a thousand shoe stores. Citizens would lynch me. They'd say, what are you doing it for him for? Is he your pal? Well, how about thing. the Chicago Bears? They're threatening now to go. Should the governor give them the same deal? Absolutely you should. Government picks winners and losers all the time, don't they? It reeks of sort of freeloading by rich people. Why? Because they're giving it to rich people. No, I'm not. I'm giving it to the people of Chicago and the state of Illinois. 